Thank you, Mark. Uh, I'm Wayne Hodes, the general manager of the Raising Canes River Center, and we have an exciting announcement today. Uh, we've been working on doing a lot of different types of programming here at the, at the Raising Canes River Center. You can see behind me on some of the screens recently, we've had hip hop artist Kevin Gates. We have family show, uh, the Harlem Globetrotters coming up, a Christian concert, Mercy Me, another family sh show, Disney on Ice. And then next week we have Grammy Award winner, uh, Ashley McBride in the country genre, as well as a rock and roll show with Shinedown and, um, and Three Days Grace. Plus also The Price is Right is coming to the, to the theater next door. Uh, but the one missing piece that uh, we haven't had here in quite some time in our city is professional sports and as you know we did three marketing showcase games for a hockey team which exceeded expectations I think by everyone's account so we wanted to announce uh, that we're going to be awarded an expansion franchise uh, a Baton Rouge own team coming in October to to play in October 23 and I, what I'd like to do at this point is announce the mayor to come up because it's really her vision to cultivate all these different programming options for our community. So, Mayor Sharon Weston. -Broom. Thank you, Wayne, and thank you for your leadership. And good morning, everyone. I am indeed thrilled that our city has spoken and a new professional hockey team will soon call Baton Rouge their home. And this is a significant milestone for our community and represents an exciting opportunity for our city's future. Uh, before today, Baton Rouge was the largest market in the nation without a professional sports team. And I must thank, once again, Wayne Holds and Barry Soskin for their dedication to making this a reality for our city. The impact of a hockey team uh, in Baton Rouge cannot be overstated and proves that Red Stick is rising. Not only will it bring new entertainment options, but it will also create jobs and stimulate economic growth. With the arrival of the hockey team, we can expect to see increased tourism and fa as fans from all over the region come to watch games and explore what our city has to offer. The benefits of having a hockey team in Baton Rouge go beyond the economic impact, of course. It will also foster a sense of community pride and unity. Sports has a way of bringing people together. Remember what happened last week? And I have no doubt that our hockey team will also do just that. We now have a new team to rally behind, to cheer for, and celebrate with. It will inspire our young athletes to pursue their dreams and cultivate their talents. It will also provide opportunities for people of all ages to get involved in the sport and stay active. I know our city will embrace our new hockey team with open arms. Let's work together to make this a successful venture. We need to support our new team and demonstrate to the world once again, that Baton Rouge is red stick rising. Thank you, and let's go Baton Rouge hockey. Thank you, Mayor. While uh, investigating what league, what team, what team owner should, should we align ourselves with, uh, it was really quite easy. Um, Barry Soskin, who the mayor mentioned, uh, has been involved in, in minor league hockey and professional sports for over 25 years with numerous successful teams. And, as a team owner, I'd like to invite Barry to come up and say a few words. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Wayne. <laughs> I felt really good until he mentioned the 25-year part. <clears throat> um, guys, first of all, thank you for coming out here this morning. This is a very big, very big announcement for us, the Federal Hockey League, as well as me personally. We're very excited to be here. This is about Baton Rouge and the team that they wanted. We came here last summer and we tried a few games and we said, if, if you guys want hockey, please support it and we'll bring a team here. The, the numbers were outstanding and it gave you know, Wayne and I a chance to work together to, to put together a multi-year lease so that we would be here for a long time. Our, our plan is to bring family affordable entertainment where, you know, a um, little bit of creativity, a uh, 
a little bit of uh, hard hitting and maybe a little couple of fights along the way to give everybody some uh, fan friendly entertainment. I, I know that the three games were a, a big success and I was really happy for them. We're going to start off by having a name the team contest. Some of the information will come through the media a little later on in the week, but uh, we're going to do this in short order because we have a lot to do in a very short order of time. A name the team contest and then we'll get into uh, uh, logos and colors with our graphic designers and stuff. So I'm very happy and very proud of what's going to go on. Uh, you can, we're going to start assembling a staff like real soon. So although I've talked to a few people in coaching, uh, there's a lot of other positions. As the mayor said, there's positions right here within the hockey team that need to be filled, and I want them filled with locals. There's nothing like bringing local people into what we're trying to do. As I've said to anybody that wants to ask, this is about Baton Rouge's team, not Barry's team. This is about your team, and I'm very proud to, have, to be able to bring it to you. Any information? We have uh, our website is up and running. You can get there by just going to the to federalhockey.com and uh, hit teams, and you'll see Baton Rouge there, uh, as well as send me your information, uh, whether they be resumes, ticket requests, anything. Uh, info at brprohockey.com. Uh, guys, that's about all that I have to say. Uh, again, thank you very much. Thanks, Barry. So one of the things I should mention is um, in late October, the, the Metro Council had uh, approved some upgrades to the facility, some of which were specific to hockey. Um, we've already gotten new lockers in the, in the locker rooms. We're getting new showers, a whole new locker room. And during the course of the of the summer, you'll see a brand new scoreboard, a center hung scoreboard that's state of the art and we're very excited about, which will help in all programming, but obviously with hockey as well. Uh, at this point, you know, we can you know, leave it open for questions if anyone, uh, anyone has any questions. When you guys say it will be your lease, how long is that? So it's, it's going to be a three year lease to start. So slightly over 21,000, averaging a little over 7,000. So the goal was 5,000 a game. So it's about 40% higher than what we had hoped for. Twenty-eight. Plus the potential for playoffs, obviously. Not that we're getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> So I think one of the things uh, back 20 years ago when that happened, there was an ownership change and the initial ownership sold the team, uh, which is again part of the reason why Mr. Soskin is here because he's had 25 plus years, sorry Barry, for, of, of success in doing so and is here for the long haul. So I think uh, we're going to work together. As Barry mentioned, he's going to hire a staff from marketing personnel. We have our own uh, marketing personnel. Uh, oftentimes in minor league uh, sports, you do a lot of grassroots marketing, um, notwithstanding our partners, which some of you all are, uh, in addition to some radio partners, Guarantee Media and Gordy Rush right up the, right up the road, uh, iHeart Media. Everyone is, it's a whole community effort, as the mayor said. And one of the things that we found uh, looking at our Ticketmaster reports, which is the ticket system from the three games. The, the patrons that came to, to those games came from throughout Louisiana. We know people from Monroe came, people from Shreveport came, and as the mayor said, you know, it's going to cultivate, you know, visitors coming to town and tourism, but it's also going to create a sense of identity and pride for our community, for, for the local con constituents that we have here. Um, so. 